you can see that we are approaching paper uh, like quality now. Right. So historically, our displays have had better contrast in paper. Right. Most newspapers have a contrast of four is to one, and uh, the current shipping product is six is to one. Right. The next generation product that we have here uh, will be at least ten is to one. Could even be as high as twelve is to one, almost doubling the contrast. Wow. And you'll notice that. And the advantage has better legibility outside in the in. It looks daylight. superb outdoors. Okay. That's the beauty of this technology: it's a reflective display technology. More light, the better. Right. Unlike an LCD, where yeah. you don't want to fight with the sun. Yes. LCD always loses when it fights with the sun. Yeah. But in this case, we we utilize the sun, so it's great. Uh, I'm going to play a small animation clip here. Uh, I'll get this without the the lights on it. Let's have a look. Uh, it's yet to commence. Give it another moment. Yep, there you go. So we've got a, a newspaper-like application, but we can run animation on it. And the animation, by the way, can be run on our existing product also, with the existing electronics. But mm. the next generation electronics improves. Yeah. We've partnered with a number of semiconductor companies to build single uh, system on chip solutions. That will um, uh, clearly help us uh, from an electronics perspective. And then together with the high contrast display, we will be able to support the next generation of uh, e-books. And what, what are you calling this technology, the next generation? It's still our e-ink Wizplex technology. We go to the next generation. We haven't come up with a name for this product <laughs> you yet. You haven't? Oh, is that uh, early, we is are it? going <laughs> through the naming convention now. Right. But uh, so far, uh, being that we are now part of a Taiwanese company, the names that we come up in the U.S., we are sending it to Taiwan to see if it makes sense okay. uh, in Asia. And many of the names we send just don't work there. So we, we, we are trying to go back and forth. So and how long before um, uh, this kind of product hits the shelves? Um, our display will be in production in the second half of this year. The actual um, end devices using this technology could appear later on this year. Most of them will actually appear next year, right. but some of them will appear this year for sure. Okay. Uh, but it's just a um, transition from current technology. There's some customers may choose to remain on the old technology because it's just working fine for them. Okay. Um, this essentially gives them a higher contrast. That's better battery production and stuff? Or, or uh, no, it's all pretty much the same. The okay. uh, rest of the features are pretty much the same.